Will we ever see an aircraft like that of the Airbus A380 return to the aviation industry and be more prominent? Or will the quadjet era dwindle away and simply be no more? Stay tuned to find out more. BBL 51, turn right, heading 180. 14 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. Today's video has been requested by Patreon Elliot. You can request videos on there if you wish, and I'll do my very best to turn them into videos. The Airbus A380 is a curious aircraft, having only come into the aviation industry recently. The aircraft is now essentially departing, with Airbus wrapping up production, and last week, the final A380 headed to Dubai-based Emirates, completing its final first flight before heading to Hamburg, specifically an Airbus facility, and will then therefore have the majority of the inside work done, preparing it for an eventual delivery. Will this quad jet that has taken the world by storm with its sheer size, but not so much in an order sense return? No, it most likely will not. While it's impossible to say where the industry will specifically take us in a couple of decades or even 50 years, due to the unpredictability of it, no one, for instance, predicted this pandemic that would bring an end to so many airlines and aircraft types. We can make note now of trends and what airlines and aircraft manufacturers are preparing for. An aircraft like that of the Airbus A380 is no longer favoured, and our perfect starting point begins with the second-hand market. The second-hand market, as covered here on the channel many years ago for the Airbus A380, is drier than your local desert. In fact, I'd argue it has gotten even drier since I last talked about the A380's future. And that comes directly from the only operator of a second-hand Airbus A380, that being High Fly, saying goodbye to the aircraft recently meaning there's not a single A380 flying today or even in an airline's operations that has had a previous owner. For other aircraft though, that is a lot rarer. We can take a look at major Boeing workhorses like that of the 737, 757 and even 767, maybe including the 747. And these will have all had different operators over the years. And it's down to them being desirable aircraft, if you will. Maybe not now in a sense of say the 747 or even the 757, but at a time they were. The Airbus A380, however, wasn't that desirable from the offing, I'd argue. While accumulating close to 300 orders, the majority have come from Emirates. It never really hit the ground running and struggled with the efficiency problem. It also emerged in an age where customers were moving towards twin-engined aircraft over that of quad jets. The sheer size of the Airbus A380 in addition meant for a number of airlines it would be near on impossible to find a route that they could operate on a consistent basis to fill the aircraft up. It wasn't justifiable for their business model, but a plane like that of the 777, A350 or maybe even the 787 Dreamliner worked far better, even if it lacked in the capacity sense. What it lacked in that sense could be made up for with efficiency. So for Airbus, why would they bring it back? The Airbus A380 is an aircraft that served a time and served it well to an extent for some airlines. But that time won't be here in 20 years, let alone 10 years. We're already seeing plans from Dubai-based airline Emirates to retire the type in the early 2030s. And what is to say that that won't even be brought forward depending on how the industry trends move. What's important to note is that by Emirates retiring this type in the 2030s, they will actually be likely the sole operator of the type, with every other airline already having plans to retire the type some point in the 2020s. We've seen many immediately pull the plug, and that has been due to the pandemic. Let's focus, though, on future aircraft now as the final subtopic for today's video. Or in other words, aircraft of the future, now like that of the Boeing 787, Airbus A350, and even the Boeing 777X, on top of more aircraft. The 777X is an upcoming type from the American plane maker Boeing. All these aircraft are efficient and wide bodies, and on top of that, they're made to fly long distances. The Airbus A380 is not efficient and too big. It's, as I've seen described on many aviation forums and just generally on social media, a nuisance to most airlines. So in the future, that simply doesn't change. Airbus themselves have moved on from the A380, and while there's no natural-born replacement, as naturally they do not have an aircraft that has four engines or can seat 800 passengers in their portfolio, that's not necessarily needed, and you can make really an adaptation of the A380. Sure, as air travel in the future continues to grow and expand aircraft manufacturers will look at more aircraft types, but I think it's safe to say from concepts the focus is more on the engines that power the type themselves and their efficiency. 
This is where the aircraft of the future come in and all the concepts that you've seen I've discussed from Airbus and Boeing and of course other aviation companies. But I'd argue the Airbus and Boeing concepts probably most likely have a better chance of eventually getting up. Sure, a lot of these might just be a pipeline dream, but it's clear to see where we are headed and at the very least where these aircraft manufacturers want to go, even if it's not these exact aircraft and how they look. It's now about connecting that bridge and making the gigantic leap of faith, if you will, and progressing further with these initiatives, which simply don't involve the A380. These new aircraft have the longevity to last within the industry for decades to come. Add the new efficient 777X, which harbours not only a large capacity, but also the new folding wingtips to have it fit into certain spaces and airports. It just shows to us the leaps and bounds that aircraft manufacturers have made for their aircraft moving forward. If there's an aircraft needed like that of the A380 or to slot into the very large aircraft sector, otherwise known as the VLA, it won't be like that of the A380, or at least I believe it is highly unlikely we'll see that again. What are your thoughts? And a big thank you to Elliot for suggesting the topic over on Patreon. If you want to join that, the link will be in the description below. But if you have any thoughts on the Airbus A380 and its future within the aviation industry, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And once again, thank you so much for your continued support. I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Take care and please be safe.